Hi everybody. Okay, so yesterday I said I am not going to binge watch Netflix. No Tiger King or whatever that show is for me. I'm going to spend my time wisely and learn and do. And that's what I've been doing today. I've already spent an hour practicing um, out of the, I really got to look up this guy's name, how to say it, Sevsik. Sevsik or Sevkik? That doesn't sound right. Um, anyway, book. And um, golly, wouldn't you know it, it, it was um, a productive morning, very productive. It's now the afternoon. I've done a bunch of things. I've uh, realized I cannot just practice like eight hours a day or at least not right off the get up go. There is just no way. Plus, I have these things called kids at home ah, and they need attention. So got to be good. Now, my, my kids, kids are teenagers. They, they're not, I'm not being a naughty mommy and whatever. They're old enough they can look after themselves. They don't need me to wipe their bottoms or whatever. Anyway, right now I am doing an exercise to strengthen my pinky and the muscles in my hand, making sure that my bow hold is good. Earlier today, I thought maybe I would need to have my bow um, restrung. Restrung? No. Rehaired. Rehaired. Because when I, when, uh, when I played, it just seemed like it wasn't gripping very well. And that may still be the case. Um, put some rosin on there and seems to be okay, but... I think for sure after the um, 90 days are up, for sure need to have it uh, rehaired. And so um, that is something that they say that if you are a vigorous player, it's, it's it, some people say six to six months to a year. Other people say every three months to six months. I'm going to go for that six month mark. Um, but, and I have been playing this for easily six months every day. So, blah, blah, blah. All right, so here is the book. Today I thought, you know, I've already done a ton and a half of um, exercises this morning, so I'm gonna see if I can play just like off the cuff, Disney. <laughs> um, I know a lot of these songs, and um, I'm pretty good at sight reading now, a lot better than I used to be, um, but because I know them fairly well, it won't necessarily be considered sight reading. Okay, I always have to be careful with my, with my uh, thing. So I've got lots of, um, lots and lots and lots. So one song that I knew really, really well as a kid, it's probably the first song I learned out of this book, is How Do You Do and Shake Hands. It's from Alice in Wonderland, but you won't find it in the movie, I don't think, uh, just because I think it got cut. And it's a really, really fun song. It's got some very double entendre lyrics. So if you get a chance to look up How Do You Do and Shake Hands from Alice in Wonderland, it's just a really, really cute song. Certainly a great audition piece uh, for any kid that's going to go do musical theater. So I hope that you find it. Okay, so this is in 6-8. It's written in the key of C. <laughs> Thank you. 
some of the fun lyrics on this, unfortunately, it doesn't have all the, um, all the lyrics. Like, you go into a barber shop to have yourself a shave, and if you are the kind of guy who never can behave, you ask the manicurist for a little kiss or two, and then when you discover it's her husband shaving, you say, how do you do and shake hands, shake hands, shake hands, say how do you do and shake hands, state your name and business. Great song. And it's all kinds of double entendres like that. You go with, let's see, um, you, let's see, is that wedding? Hmm. You're at a wedding of some ho folks you hardly know by sight. And in a conversation to the woman on your right, you say you think the bride's a mess, her face she ought to hide. But then you find you're talking to the mother of the bride. Say, <laughs> and then it goes into it. So anyway, all right, drip, drip, drop, little April shower. Cute song from Bambi. Love the song. I think it'll be a little bit challenging. Um, so why not? <laughs> in cut time in C. I think it's kind of a challenge. I like it. I like, um, I'm not exactly playing it as it's written. Like there are no staccatos above the notes, but pff, knowing, um, how it was sung, uh, drip, 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 bleh. drip, 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 drop, little April shower, ding, ding, a tune as you fall all around, drip, drip, drop. So it's, that drip, drip, drop, you, you don't say drip, drip, drip. No, you sing it drip, drip, drop, really short. This is one of those uh, instances where even though the music's written differently, the instrumentalist must listen or look at the lyrics and take cues from the lyrics. How do you say drip? You don't say drip, you say drip. It's fast and short. Plus, it's in cut time, so...
one of those instances that um, intonation needs to be pretty on, uh, right on, when it comes to playing uh, double stops, um, because otherwise it just does not sound like a good chord. So that's why I take my time. Uh, oh my gosh. Song that never ends. Oh my goodness. Cinderella, Cinderella, night and day is Cinderella. La 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 la. Ooh! Oh, my favorite! Oh, sing Sweet Nightingale. I love Oh, Sing Sweet Nightingale from Cinderella. It's a beautiful song, written also in cut time uh, and in the key of F. <laughs> So B flat and I'm trying to play it so chords right there and I'm just playing two notes of it they did have an uh, F and a G right next to each other and I and really next to each other not like spaced out at all so um, I did my best but I'd like to give it another shot and see if I can play it a little bit better <laughs> This is the issue. Okay, first of all, before we do that again, so many little nuances can mess you up, so I just keep trying.
Ugh, that's terrible. So I didn't play the full um, chords there just because I didn't realize that the F was not what I was supposed to play in that one. Uh, really, not an easy tune to play. Certainly in first position, not easy, but it looked like that's what it wanted you to do. Gosh, I didn't realize Cinderella has so many slow songs. Really slow. The work song. Oh my gosh. Well, here's one that'll kick my butt. Why not? Uh, in the key of F. Um, cut time. Oh, cut time. I think every single song is in cut time here. Why did it do it twice? That's weird. So it starts off, oh, okay, there we go. Every, it's got a picture of the character next to it, and so it cuts up the... It makes it all look like it's this thick, and it's making me miss... I can't even explain. Ah! Anyway. Yeah, my fault. Okay. Nice ending. I like it. Okay, moving on. Ah, I don't know anything about this 
cartoon nor this movie. The name is by today's standards scandalous. Um, it is, uh, it says on the top, I'm reading it. It says based on theme melody from Walt Disney's Beaver Valley. Jingling, jingling. Keep it real, folks. <gasps> Woo! The horse without a head. No, I don't know anything about that. Bellinote! Yes! Love Bellinote from Lady and the Tramp. Beautiful. By Peggy Lee and Sonny Burke. Um, this is written in the key of G. It is not in double time. So... play that. Oh, okay. with both the notes and that's not easy to do once again I'm not play double stops very often so now I'm just gonna play the the melody line and forget the double stops and it is a very pretty melody
couldn't resist the last one. Okay. Thank you, Peggy Lee and Sunny Burke, for that beautiful song. Ah, another good song. He's a train. He's a bad guy. But they love him. He breaks a new heart every day. It's my speed. that um, Disney actually had a lot of songs written and cut certain songs. So that's like, how do you do in Shake Hands? Pretty sure that was cut. Another song that was uh, cut as far as um, lyrically was uh, Lady from Ladies in, Lady in the Tram, which is really cute. Uh, <laughs> Aw. Cute as any coquette. Yes, I love it. It's so cute. All right. Oh, this song is so cute. It's a lullaby from Lady in the Tramp. La la loo, la la loo, oh my little star sweeper, ah sweeper, joy does for you. La la loo, la la loo, little star fluffy sleeper, here comes a pink cloud for you. Pretty song. It's Peace on Earth, which is also from Lady in the Tramp. Um was a song that my mom, I think, used to sing with um, Silent Night. Silent Night, Holy Night. And this song doesn't quite go with it. Um, Silent as a snowflake in the night. Something like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, if I really want to hurt myself, I'll, sing, I'll play the Siamese cat song which is very, very full of double stops. Oh my Lord. And it's going to be difficult to play. So it's written in C, but, oh man, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but I'm going to try a little bit. Oh, look at that. <coughs> I'm going to die. It's just, it's the, it's the jumping and stuff. Okay. That is the first note.
I'm playing this. Ah! So it did actually cut off the um, double stops just for that uh, finer the cat than I am. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna stop there with that, though it is really good practice. Like, double stop heaven, and um, what is the distance between them? An F2 is <clears throat> C2 and F4. They're a fourth apart. Ooh, no wonder they sound so terrible. Ugh. I can't believe it. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna play anything from the parent trap. I love Never Smile at a Crocodile. I love it. It's a great song. So this one is written for Peter Pan by Jack Lawrence and Frank Churchill. Um, so much fun. Okay, I gotta get that string crossing. that in. Okay. They have it as G up top, but really I remember it being low. So that's uh, Never Smile at a Crocodile. A Pirate's Life, I don't remember that being in the movie. I don't remember uh, Peter Pan uh, being in the movie either. Uh, no, you know, a, the, a Pirate's Life might have been in the movie. Let's see. Oh yes, you can fly, you can fly. Your mother and me. Sleeping Beauty. Okay, so Sleeping Beauty is my movie. <laughs> and uh, I think I was like three or four when I saw it. I missed the entire dragon scene because I had to go to the bathroom that bad. <laughs> um, but later on I got to see it um, and I just loved every bit of it. Because it is the, uh, you know, it's the epitome of, you know, the, the, the dr damsel in distress and the dragon and the prince and all that stuff. But I just, and she's a singer and I'm a singer. So there you go. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So the Sleeping Beauty song based on the Tchaikovsky theme has a lot of double stops in it. So this is actually a venture into, and it's waltz tempo, three, four time, key of C. I don't know if I'll be able to play it.
this one's pretty hard, um, which is fine. Maybe I should work on just the melody. being a high E, but it's written as a C. Oh, but here it does. interesting is that I came back to these songs in about a month's time and see where I sat with them which would be fine I love I wonder but I'm not gonna play it I'll do it another day I Disney, you missed your chance, okay? I was here, I was ready. Did you ask me to be Sleeping Beauty? Did you ask me to do the voiceover? No, you missed me. I would have come audition. You didn't invite me. All right. Um, <laughs> now to sleep. No, a lot of these I don't know. Um, and they're not really attached to anything. They're just kind of, like, they're not attached to a movie or anything. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this is Disney's, Disney himself's favorite song. And I would be remiss if I did not try it, though, in a way, because I'm not that great of a player yet. I feel like I would do a disservice if I did play it. But... It's Feed the Birds um, from Mary Poppins, and he really, really loves this song. So let's see if I can do it a little bit of justice. <laughs>
best, but that's for you, Mr. Disney. Ah, anyway, okay. Let's see. You know, I can't believe this, but I am missing all of the, um, I feel really kind of silly. I am looking actually for, hello, um, this one song. Well, that's When You Wish Upon a Star, which I'm missing. I got, just went through the entire book and I did not find one of my favorite songs, Golden Afternoon, which is a very, very cool song. Let's see, golden, golden, golden. It's not in here? How can it not be in here? I must have grabbed the wrong book or something. I stole it from my mother. That song's pretty wonderful. I love the golden afternoon. It is, um... from memory um, and I wasn't too sure on the fingering but there you go we've been playing now for uh, over 45 minutes and I'm gonna say to that we're good we played quite a few tunes I don't even know which tunes we played anymore because it's been so long but um, I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, looking at the Disney favorites book with me and I played a lot of, uh, all of it, um, especially on the violin sight reading. So uh, wrong notes and everything in the middle uh, were bound to happen. But I got a great thing of practice uh, out of it. Certainly the Siamese cat song was challenging and fun. Um, and I hope that you guys just randomly pick out books out of your shelves. You know, like once you've done your hard practice time, which I did earlier today, about an hour um, to just kind of do something that's going to challenge you and be kind of fun, just like we did with the Disney book. So God bless you. Stay safe, stay healthy, get, get coronavirus, like antivirals in your system, get some, you know, I'm going to say this again. I said it once before, if you can get your hands on some antivirals, like olive leaf and oregano oil and things like that. So long as you're not already taking blood pressure medication, those um, herbs should be safe for you to take. And so, and they're really powerful and they can really, really help against uh, the coronavirus or any other virus you've got. Plus, you know, a few other things, but I'm not gonna get into that. I think most people are just really scared about the issue that we've been having with coronavirus and stuff. So stay safe and stay healthy, and um, God bless you guys. See you later. Bye for now. I'm gonna stop streaming because you're all cute, but I got things to do.